Hey folks, welcome back to Bullets and Brass. I, I, it amazes me every time the 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 Grendel videos are so popular. Uh, it is still the number one trending set of videos by far. Uh, it just doesn't leave the number one slot and usually one of the other videos uh, in that group are still in the top three. Uh, for any given period. So, since that is clearly a topic people like, are interested in, are searching for, we're going to do some more. And we're not going to talk about the relative merits ballistically. I think that is basically a done deal. Like, you know, it's I did the video, uh, people watched it or watched 10 seconds of it and then pitched their, you know, little fit or had their comment. And that's great. Uh, it is what it is, but it doesn't need repeated. And, and certainly lots of other people have done this topic. It isn't like I was the only person by far. No, the topic for today is availability because the ammo market is improving drastically, right? We have seen ammunition significantly more available. Prices are coming down. Uh, it is absolutely improving week by week, day by day. It is not what it was a couple months ago or a year ago. However, certain calibers are still really tough. And for some reason, 6.5 Creedmoor is one of them. Now, one of the reasons for that is that it is not, despite its popularity, it is not a high volume round. People don't shoot a ton of it. And what that means is the manufacturers don't treat it the same way. So availability is still low, price is still high. Now, normally, and I've said this before, because people will comment, you know, 6.5 is so expensive. I disagree normally. 6.5 is not significantly more expensive than 308 for the things you use 6.5 for. It is more expensive if you're shooting mil-spec generic cheap ammo out of your 308. That's not, there's no point. The, forget 6.5 if that's what you're doing. Because the cheapest 6.5 ammo is not going to be as cheap as the cheapest 308 ammo. I went through Ammo Seek today and I said, what's available for both? What is, I mean, not like, hey, there's one of them. I mean, what can I, if I wanted to buy a thousand rounds, 2,000 rounds, 3,000 rounds, what can I get? What is the, the mainstream available price, not just the best deal going for five boxes or something? And the answer was pretty, pretty surprising because I hadn't been paying attention right lately for rifle ammo. I'm not in the market right now. 308, there's plenty of it out there. Uh, plenty of Wolf and Tola, Barnell, uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but uh, it is widely available and cheap. And not, not as cheap as it used to be, but perfectly affordable for going to the range, right? Uh, I was seeing 55 cents a round for that. Now, in comparison, <laughs> the cheapest 6.5 Creedmoor I could find in any kind of consistency was $1.80. It just wasn't at the same level as the, the Wolf or Tola. It was much better ammo. No shade on Wolf and Tola. They are excellent for what they are, but they're not making in most of their product line. I, I know they do make better stuff. In most of the product, they're not making premium ammo. They're making ammo for somebody who wants to do a mag dump and not cry over the price tag. Yeah, it works great. You're, you're literally talking over three times the price per round as your, as your baseline. How cheap can you go, right? So if you want 308, Great. If you've got a 6.5 and you don't have a 308, yeah, that, that hurts if you're just going to the range and ringing some steel at a couple hundred yards and you don't need premium ammo. Now, at the other end of the spectrum, now here's where it gets interesting. Because remember when I said normally 308 and 6.5 are very similar for the match grade ammo? They're both still expensive. They're both still high. 308 has come down faster. $1.45 per round for Hornady, uh, and it was available. 
This was, I believe it was 168 grain match, but it was, it was a standard thing. I could find a bunch of things similar to that uh, in that range. Uh, it might not be ideal, but I wouldn't feel like I was massively handicapping myself. 6.5 on the other hand, $2.25, and there was not a big selection. There were a few options. This is 140 grain Hornady match. Again, I, I tried to, that was kind of my base point. If I got to that or something similar to that, that was what I was looking for. And not a big selection, not a big quantity. You couldn't get, uh, at that price point, you couldn't get like 5,000 rounds of the same thing. So if you were trying to stock up for the season for a, a competitor, you might have trouble. Uh, you might have to you know, shop around and buy it from multiple places. And, you know, you hope the batches are the same. You hope they're the same lot. Mm, it was, it was not as good, which is why it was still 225. Supply has not caught up. And I think that's important. I think that is something that people have discussed. Uh, you know, when you think I'm fanboying on 6.5, one of the things that you guys say to, you know, try to pull me back is, you know, it's not a great shit hit the fan caliber. If you're trying to stockpile ammo, that kind of ammo is expensive. Availability isn't as good. Availability in times like this is not as good. And you are absolutely right. And I apologize if you ever got the impression I disagreed with that. I 100% feel like 308 is the better caliber if you're looking for economy and availability overall uh, in, in rough times. When everything's great, shoot whatever the hell you want. Uh, you know, you, you can shoot the most weird boutique ammo and you can get somebody to make it for you. And you know, the price might be a little high, but it won't be horrible. So that is, that is where we're at in you know, June, end of June, 2021. If you own a 6.5 and you aren't stocked up on ammo, it's gonna hurt to go to the range. A dollar eighty around, you might as well spend the extra money on a hoardy match, right? Uh, you know, a dollar eighty to two twenty-five, forget it. Three hundred eight, on the other hand, fifty-five cents. I'm tempted to order some. With those kind of prices right now, three hundred eight makes sense. So that's that's pretty much it. That's kind of my thoughts, and this has gotten really long. Take care, have fun, stay safe, y'all, and keep shooting. One more thing. Make sure to submit a letter, a comment, a call in, whatever you're gonna do, do all of them to the comment section for the ATF for the pistol brace laws uh, because they are basically going to fuck the entire industry over if those pass. It isn't just going to be your standard AR-15 handgun. Those laws, the way they're written, yeah, that's, that's going to extend massively. Uh, if they can make that work, if they can pass something written that way, a year from now, we won't be able to own anything. Uh, no joke. Like, uh, if they can make that fly and survive the first legal challenge, they will do the exact same thing to every single gun that uses one of these or one of these. Every one of them. Basically, they will say anything in this size range that uses a detachable magazine and, you know, has any of these other features. Uh, and they may say any of these features and one of them is a detachable magazine. Uh, if you think the California law was bad, good luck. They'll probably make it written in a way that even the ones that were California compliant are not legal. I don't think they're going to let us grandfather them in, they're going to say, you need to register it, or they're going to say, turn them in. And we know how that's going to go. Uh, that's, that's not going to be pretty, right? So let's not go there. Let's stand up and say no in the way they pay attention to and do it now before it goes one more step and we're being responsive as opposed to proactive. If we don't kill 
the pistol brace law, probably going to see massive issues within the year. Uh, and I don't mean 2021, I mean this time next year, we will probably not be a pleasant place to live in this country. So let's avoid that. Let's, let's tell them enough is enough in a way that they understand before it becomes hot. So that is it. Take care, have fun, stay safe.